what happens if time wasn't real? How can I tell the difference between the past, the present, and the future? Does time really have an order? Does it only move in one direction? Does it move at all in any way? Put an end to time. Don't make any assumptions. And try to keep your cool. This thought experiment that will blow your mind will only take a few minutes, whatever that means. Albert Einstein's general theory of relativity was published in 1915. It changed, changes, and will continue to change the way we think about time. In this important theory, he said that the laws of physics are the same for everyone who is not moving. This basically explains why, if you were standing still and watching a car drive by, you would think the people inside were moving at the same speed as the car, since their speed is relative to where you are standing. On the other hand, the people inside the car feel like they are standing still because they are moving at the same speed as the car. Einstein's theory of relative motion, on the other hand, could be used to explain the motion of everything in the universe, except for light. Light moves at the same speed all the time. Einstein came up with the idea of space-time, which is a link between time and space, based on these two ideas. One tricky thing it means is that two people can have different ideas of how fast time passes depending on how much faster one person is moving than the other. So, if it's possible for two people to see time passing in exactly the same way, but from different points of view, whose clock is right and whose is wrong? In a strange way, they're both right. After all, the fact that there are different time zones shows that your watch and someone else's watch on the other side of the world will always show different times. We tend to think of time as objective or universal because people have pretty much all agreed on the same way to keep track of their busy lives and be on the same page with their neighbors, whether they live next door or across the world. But even though time is a good way to keep track of the past, present, and future, it's harder to understand what time really is when you realize that the past, present, and future could all be happening at the same time. You might be able to point out Proxima Centauri if you look up at the sky. The sun is the closest star to Earth, but Proxima Centauri is only about four light years away. So the light you see now has been around for four years in our time. If Proxima Centauri blew up, we wouldn't find out about it for another four years. No matter where you are in the universe, the speed of light is always the same. Another thing you should know is that time moves more slowly the faster you move. This is why astronaut Scott Kelly came back to Earth 13 milliseconds younger than his twin after a year in space. Now, using these two examples, let's put an astronaut on a planet four light years away. That means that he is four years ahead of you in the present. He already knows everything you do now on Earth. Simply put, the past, the present, and the future all happen at the same time. Before you have an existential crisis, there is a theory that might make it easier to live in the past, the present, and the future at the same time. It's called the moving spotlight theory, and it basically says that there is only one absolute present, which changes from moment to moment as if a spotlight were moving over it. So, now that you know all of this, you can start to see how time might be a trick. There is no single objective past, present, or future, but our memories, experiences, and plans for the future give us the impression that there is. These things help us put our lives in a logical order. But that order will be very, very different depending on where you are and how fast you're going. So don't worry if you're new age, old-fashioned, or just like living in the present. There's a place for you, somewhere in space. It might take you hundreds of years to get there, but if you move quickly, you'll get there in no time. If you enjoyed watching and want to explore more like this with me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification to our channel before you go. Thank you so much for watching.